Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at the Sennheiser Ascentum Wireless. Now you can pick these up online, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on these, 180 bucks. Alright, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now these come in two different colors, you got white and black. Now they have Bluetooth version 5.2, the codex is SBC, AAC, and APTX HD. Now these feature multi-point connection, that means you can pair two devices at the same time. You got 37 millimeter drivers, that's gonna give you that Sennheiser Pro sound. Now these feature active noise cancellation and transparency mode. You got two built-in mics with wind reduction, that's gonna give you crystal clear phone calls. The battery life on these is 50 hours, okay? Now you also got quick charge, 10 minutes of charge will give you five hours worth of playtime. Now you got a simple four button layout for all your touch controls, and there's an app that's available for Android and iOS that lets you customize your settings. All right, so all of that for 180 bucks, let's see what it is. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer two questions. Number one, are these worth 180 bucks? And number two, which ones sound better? These or the Sony CH720Ns? These are around the same league. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, She's on vacation. All right, here we go. Sennheiser Ascentum Wireless. Let's see, did I miss anything? Enjoy crisp, deep bass, brilliant highs from Sennheiser unique uh, acoustic designs. Customize the sound to your preference. Okay, select active noise cancellation to block out ambient noise or use transparency mode. Command your listening experience with easy to use buttons. Okay, let me grab a little unboxing knife. Got the John Wick special. Here we go. Wow. Sennheiser a Centum Wireless. Now, of course, these aren't gonna be as good as the Momentum 4s, but look at the price, 180 bucks. These are gonna be a step down, but let's see how they sell. Now, inside, okay, minimalistic packing. This is gonna be your headphones. Let's see, download the app for Android or iOS. Of course, you got your usual books and shit. Plug them and file them. And it does come with the charging cable. This is gonna be USB-A, to USB type C. Now for the actual headphones, there's your simple four button controls. I like that, physical buttons. Okay, let's do the Easter Island head stress test. Okay, if you got a big dome, you're gonna fit these perfectly. Let's see, as far as the cushions, okay, not the softest cushion on the top, but it is soft. Let me uh, pull out the Sony's, let's see. Do a little side by side. Yeah, the Sony's headband is a little bit softer. Let's see, ear cups. Now the ear cups are nice and soft. Right on par with the Sony's. Okay, let's see, side by side. Now the reason I'm comparing them to the Sony 720Ns is because these are the two that everybody's gonna be looking at. Okay, so the Sony's look a little bit bigger. Let's put them side by side, let's see. Uh, actually about the same size. About the same size, same weight. Let's see. On one side, this is gonna be your multifunctional button. Looks like volume up and down, skip and reverse tracks, uh, play and pause, answer and end phone calls, activate your voice assistant. Okay, this is probably gonna be, I'll double check this, but this is probably gonna be active noise cancellation and transparency mode. Let's see. Oh, look, <laughs> a little diagram right there. All right, so we got volume up and down, play and pause, answer and end phone calls. Okay, yeah, uh, this is also the power button and your Bluetooth pairing. Okay, now let's see. Now these don't fold up, but they do swivel. Little blacked out Sennheiser logos, I like that. Now let's get them peel these off. Right. One more. Right. Okay, nice sleek black looking <laughs> headphones. I like that, minimalistic design, no big logos all over the place. Real nice. All right, so let's grab a phone and pair these up and then we'll start our usual testing. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, these headphones are extremely lightweight and comfortable. If you like to wear headphones for a long period of time, these are gonna be perfect for you. The headband kind of has a rubbery feel to it, but the ear cups are so soft and luxurious, they feel like leather pillows. Now, let's go through the buttons real quick. You got volume up and down, and in the middle, you see that button has a little texture to it? This is a multifunctional button. So this is gonna be play and pause, skip and reverse tracks, answer and end phone calls. 
Now you got another multifunctional button. This is gonna activate your voice assistant and cycle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. This is also for Bluetooth pairing. You got a USB Type-C charging slot. There's one of your mics. Again, a nice amount of stretch on these. The cups do swivel. And I gotta say it one more time, super lightweight. All right, so now let's take a look at the Sennheiser app. Now once you pair up your headphones, if you want to, you can log in, set up a profile. You got a picture of your headphones, the name of your headphones, your Bluetooth connection, and your battery percentage. Now let's go through the different tiles. You got connection management. Remember, these feature multi-point connection, so you can have two different devices connected at the same time. You got a fully functional EQ, okay, so you can set up a custom preset. You got bass boost, you got podcasts, and you got your bands. Sound check, okay? Sound check allows you to personalize your listening experience by guiding you to the best audio presets for your music. Set that up if you want. You got sound zones, check this out. The sound zone feature allows you to automatically apply your sound settings when entering or leaving zones. That's pretty dope. You got active noise cancellation and transparency mode. You also have wind noise reduction and you have auto pause. So if you want to, you can have it when you turn on transparency mode, it automatically pauses your music. Okay, you got side tone. This is how much of your own voice you wanna hear when you're on your phone call. You got some settings, you got firmware, comfort calls, auto power on and off. You got tone and voice prompts, your codex, model name, factory reset, and you can actually show what tiles you wanna see. Okay, so the app is simple and straightforward. All right, so now let's talk about the look, the fit, and the feel. As far as the look, I love it. Okay, minimum logos. Okay, all black design. Very sleek and stylish. Now, it doesn't have too much clamping force. And with these soft ear cups, they should be extremely comfortable. Let's get and put them on. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, super lightweight, very comfortable. My ears are engulfed in the ear cups. Let me show you how they look. Okay, completely over the ear design. Let's try out transparency mode. Okay, test it one, two, three. Wow, what a difference. Hold up. What a difference between active noise cancellation. Now it is super quiet. Let's try transparency mode. Okay, now my voice sounds very natural. Not with that robotic tint to it. Okay, I'm feeling transparency mode already. Now let's do a little sound test. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. We got Mariah Carey, We Belong Together Remix, featuring Jada Kiss and Styles P with my homeboy DJ Clue. Now I'm gonna start off at maximum volume, active noise cancellation turned on, and I got the EQ set to preset stock. Okay, here we go. One tap for playing pause. I promise y'all I'm not gonna sing. Let's get it on. When you left, I lost a part of me. Is this so hard to believe? Come back, baby, please, cause we belong together. Ha ha! Let's go! Oh, here we go. Remix! Woo! All right, hold on. <laughs> Whenever you hear or see me, this is the emancipation of me, me. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's take it to the EQ. So far, these sound good, though. Okay, here we go. Let's, here we go. Here we go. I lost a part of me. When you left, boy, can't you see? Welcome back, baby, please, because we belong together. Oh, okay, this is the one right here. Hold up. Let's see. Let's get Max. I think I like it like this. Let's do a little more. One more. Let's see. A little too much trouble. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> Let's try bass boost. Woo! Oh, that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, you feel a bass right here. Hold on. Let's, um... Hold on. Let's take it over to Nipsey Hustle. I'm jamming to the song, by the way. Hold up, hold up. All right, here we go, here we go. Let me test out the bass real quick. Hold up. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm yelling, y'all. I got active nail cancellation turned on. All right, here we go. Hold up. Mmm! Okay. 
These definitely got more bass than the Sony's. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ooh, part two of that bass. Hold up. Mogul, let they know that. Y'all know I gotta get that part off. All right, hold up. All right, I wanna test one more song. Let's take it over to... All right, yeah, this <laughs> Bounty Killer. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me. I want I want y'all to hear what I'm listening to. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now, I will say this: not the loudest volume in the world. Let's go to my light music. Let me test one more song. Let's see. Let's do a little pop smoke. Okay. Now this song is a little bit louder. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that that uh, the Bounty Killer song might have been just recorded low. Let's try this one out. Okay. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Hold up, y'all hear this? <laughs> okay. Send me that Adam. We gonna start. And that when we arrive. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> I, I forgot I'm shooting a video. I'm having too much fun. These sound terrific, <laughs> okay? These definitely sound terrific. In order for me to really test these out though, I wanna do two things. First, I'm gonna test them side by side with the Momentum 4s, okay, the big boys. And then I'm gonna test them side by side with the Sony CH720Ns, okay? Cause these are the main competition for each other. But just off the rip, I would say these sound terrific. Let me put them back on one more time. I know, I like to, I like to really get into this. Let's try one more. Let's try. Uh, let's see what. Let's see what else we got close. Y'all, y'all see my library is all over the place. Let's do a little D'Angelo lady. Let's see. You can hear the highs of the mids crystal clear, but that bass is thumping on these. Okay, hold up. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay, hold up. This is what I'm listening to. Okay. Mm. Nice and mellow. All right, cool. All right, so let's do a little bit more testing. All right, so now let's do the reconnection test. How long do these take to reconnect to your phone after you power them off? So as you see, I'm connected to the Ascentum. Let's go ahead and power them down. Okay, fully disconnected. Let's power them back up. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two Mississippis extremely fast reconnection now let's check multi-point connection let's see if we compare two devices at once so we got an iphone let's hit play there's the music let's hit play on the android phone there's the music back to the iphone there's the music back to the android there it is so multi-point connection works flawlessly all right so now let's check all the touch controls you got a multifunctional button in the middle, one tap for play and pause. Okay, see the music is playing, tap it again. It'll pause your music. Now this is also for answering and phone calls. Now you got volume up and down. Double press the middle button to skip to the next song. Triple press to go to the previous track. You got another multifunctional button on the bottom, single press for voice assistant. What's the weather for today? Okay, and double press the cycle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. So all of the buttons work perfectly. All right, so now let's check the call quality. I'm gonna call up Amaya. Okay, let's get a centum, max volume. Hi, girl. What's up, what you doing? Okay, okay, a little, little practice tonight. All right, check this out. I'm making a YouTube video. I'm testing out some new headphones. I need you to keep it a buck with me. How do I sound? Sound okay? <laughs> Not your favorites though. <laughs> I, uh, you know, this is what the people, this is what the people like about you. You keep it brutally honest. Tell me the truth. All right, tell me the truth right now. Do you, do you hear any wind noise? Okay, good. I didn't turn it on yet. I, I see this. I gotta make sure. I'm, I gotta make sure you're keeping it real. Right, let me turn the window. Hold up. All right, what about now? Do you hear it? Is it horrible? Okay, hold on, let me try something real quick. Let's go to 
wind noise reduction. Okay, what about now? Do you hear less, less wind? You, you, all right, so if I called you like this, would you be able to have a conversation or you'd be like, nah, bro, keep it moving? Okay. Okay, let me, all right, so without the wind. All right, let me turn off the wind. All right, what about now? Okay, so I need you to give me an honest ranking on a scale of one to 10. How would you rank the call quality on these? Solid seven? Okay, good. Say say less. Say less. All right. Well, let me let you get ready for practice. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, let me let you get ready for practice. Text me when you get. Text me when you're on your way home. All right. Bye. Okay. Now, as far as the call quality on my end, she sounded perfectly fine. She said I sounded good, but not her favorite. And when I asked her for a number between one to ten, she said seven. Y'all know how she keeps it real in all of my videos. She said seven. I turned on wind noise reduction. She said she could clearly hear the wind. She said it wasn't horrible, but if I called her and there was this much wind during a conversation, she would have been like, yo, call me back whenever you finish riding your motorcycle or your scooter or whatever you're doing because it's a little too windy. So anyway, but on my end, she sounded great. I'd give these about a seven also. All right, so I'm gonna run around the corner to the store real quick so we can test out active noise cancellation and transparency mode. I'll be right back. All right, so now let's talk about transparency mode and active noise cancellation. Now, I just came back from walking around the corner to the store, and here's my results. I would say the transparency mode is excellent. Okay, if you're wearing these at work and somebody starts talking to you and you wanna have a conversation, you're not gonna have to take these off your head. Your voice is gonna sound very natural and you'll hear all of your ambient sounds. These sound terrific, okay? The transparency mode, top tier. Now, as far as active noise cancellation, y'all know I got three tiers. We got trash tier, okay tier, and top tier. I'm gonna rank these as top tier noise cancellation. Not the top of the top tier, okay? But these are definitely better than okay tier. These would be low tier, top tier, just like the Sonys. And speaking of the Sonys, I did a little side-by-side -side test, and let me give you those results too. First of all, I'm not gonna waste too much time talking about the Momentum 4s versus the Ascendums. <laughs> the Ascendums, <laughs> I said Ascendums. <laughs> the Momentum 4s are definitely louder and they cancel way more noise. They're just better. They're all around better, better build quality. These are just a better pair of headphones, but you're paying a lot more money. But if we're talking about the $180 to $150 price range, here's my comparison. I would say the Sonys might have canceled out I would say exactly the same amount of noise. I mean, I'm being honest with y'all. The noise cancellation to me, I couldn't tell the difference, but I could definitely tell the difference in the sound quality, especially when you play with the EQ, the Sennheisers have more bass. And that's the same thing with the Sony M5s versus the Sennheiser Momentum 4s. The Sonys did cancel out more noise, but the Momentum 4s, these are some bass heavy ANC headphones. And that's why these are still in my top 10. But when it comes to the Sennheisers versus the Sonys, if I had to choose, okay, 150 bucks for the Sony 720s, 180 bucks for the Sennheisers, I would spend that extra 30 bucks and go with the Sennheisers. The sound quality was just way better. Although, okay, now it is a give and take because the Sonys did have better call quality but if you don't really talk on the phone too much, you really wanna focus on sound quality and active noise cancellation, build quality, okay? They're both the same, lightweight and comfortable. But I would put my money with the Sennheisers, okay? To me, the Sennheisers sound better when it comes to the music. The highs and the mids, crystal clear, but these have more bass. And y'all know I'm a certified bass head. I'm always gonna choose more bass heavy products because when you, you listen to music without bass, everything sounds the same. But then when you put on the bass heavy song, you're gonna wish your headphones had better bass. So these would be top tier transparency mode, low tier top, low of the top tier, <laughs> active noise cancellation. The core quality was decent, but the sound quality is amazing. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Sennheiser Ascentum Wireless a major, major go. My only gripes would be there's no IP rating, so these are not water resistant, and I wish it had a little bit better call quality. Other than that, you're getting that Sennheiser Pro Sound. If you ever had Sennheiser headphones or earbuds, you know what I'm talking about. 
deep, punchy bass, crispy highs and mids, excellent sound quality. But on top of that, you're getting 50 hours battery life. That's insane. You got multi-point connection, top tier active noise cancellation, and top of the top tier transparency mode. These are super lightweight and comfortable, and you got an app that lets you control your EQ, and it actually makes a difference. These are totally worth the price, and I'm stamping them down with the floor seal of approval. Anyway, Sennheiser, Symptom Wireless, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys around. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rope. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot one to beam up. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>